Welcome to another video from Master U Tutorial. And today we're going to do a question which was taken from Analytical Geometry Grade 12. So it reads as follows. Given a circle defined by x squared plus y squared is equal to 20 and a point A with coordinates minus 10 and 10 outside the circle. AP and AP prime are tangents to the circle with P and P prime points on the circle and C the center of the circle. Now A says determine the coordinates of P and P prime. So here this is the diagram that we given here and everything is drawn to scale. We're looking for the coordinates of point P. Um, in fact, on P, we can easily read it from the diagram here. You can see that from, from here to there, it's about two units. And then from here, from down here going up straight to point P, it's about four units. So P is two and four. Now for the coordinates of P prime, there's two ways, in fact, that we can get these coordinates. Let's look at the first one. The first one is to read them directly from the diagram here. As much as it's pretty not that clear to read them, but then we can say that, um, you know, the x coordinates is going to be 2, 4. So it's going to be 4 minus 4 units, or just 4 units to the left. And then the y coordinate is going to be 2 units down. It's going to be negative 2. So this one becomes minus 4 and minus 2. Now, if you look at the second method now, we know that point P prime is the reflection of point P about the line y is equal to minus x. y is equal to minus x. Since we have point P here, point P is x and y, and then P pi is going to be minus, because of this equation here, we are going to swap the x and the y, and then also the x is going to become, in fact, let me just write it here. So we do this because of this equation, because of the line at which they're being reflected. Therefore, now because P is 2 and 4, P prime is going to be minus 4 and minus 2. So it's similar to what we got initially there. So now we have the coordinates of P and P prime. We are now doing part B of the equation. It says find the equations of the tangents. We're going to start with the equation of line A, P. We know that the coordinates of A is minus 10 and 10. And then the coordinates of P is 2 and 4. So now we need the slope because remember the equation of a straight line is given by Y minus Y1 is equal to M X minus X1. So we need to know the slope of the line. M A P is going to be equals to Y at P minus Y at A over X at P minus X at A, which is equals to Y at P is 4 minus Y at A is 10 over X at P is 2 minus X at A is going to be minus 10. So minus 10 like that. Therefore, this M A P becomes minus 1 over 2. We are going to use the coordinates of point A and the gradient of line AP, which is minus 1 over 2, together with this equation here, or this general formula here of a straight line, to find the equation of line AP. So doing so, this is going to be YAP minus Y1, like I said, we're going to use the coordinates of point A. So therefore, it's going to be minus 10 is equal to minus 1 over 2, x minus and then x at a is minus 10 so minus 10 put it like that therefore y a p taking the 10 to the other side and multiplying this one in we're going to have 1 over 2 x and then minus 5 and then the minus 10 will become plus 10 there therefore y a p is equal to 1 over 2 x plus 5 this is the equation of line AP. Now we're going to move to the equation of line AP prime. So again, we know the coordinates of A, which is minus 10 and 10. And then we know the coordinates of P prime, which is minus 4 and minus 2. The slope now of AP prime is going to be minus 2 minus 10 over negative 4, negative 10 which will later M A P prime is going to be minus 2. 
using this equation of a straight line y minus y1 m x minus x1 so right now we're going to use this slope and this point in fact this time let's use the, the coordinates of p prime so we're going to use the slope and the coordinates of this point here together with this general equation of a straight line to find the equation of line a p prime therefore y a p prime minus so since we're using this point we're using point p prime we're going to substitute negative 2 there squares to negative 2 the slope into x minus minus 4 like that therefore y a p prime minus so since we're using this point we're using point p prime we're going to substitute negative 2 there squares to negative 2 the slope into x minus minus 4 like that so this will become y a p prime is equals to minus 2 x plus 4 because the negative and the negative sum up to a positive and then now when you take this because it's going to be positive when you go to the other side it will become negative so you say minus 2 therefore y a p prime is going to be minus 2 x minus 8 minus 2 therefore y a p prime is going to be minus 2 x minus 10 this is your answer for the equation of line AP prime. Thank you for watching. If you have any question, please leave a comment. If you're new to this channel, uh, please subscribe so that you know you get updated whenever we upload videos similar to this one. Thank you for watching. Goodbye.